Josh Raven here with the Daily Dot at E League. We're on week three, and I'm joined by Zipex from Team Astralis. Very close to a 6 0 run in the group stage. Unfortunately, couldn't quite pull it off. Tied against SK Gaming. Uh, so, why weren't you able to pull off that clean sweep? What happened there, man? Um, well, we have a really bad record against SK. We have lost against them at Frag Bite Masters a long time ago. Um, I think it's the Danish rivalry. Like, they know how we play and they really want to win because they want to prove that they had a better team in, in Denmark. Um, and maybe we took a little light on it. Um, but they played also very good. Um, and they had their aim pretty crisp. Like, whenever we were like in the situation where we probably should have won, like they just headshot us. But I probably feel that SK is a good team and I think they can they can go far in this tournament. Okay, well obviously today you did have Carrigan back in the lineup. Not mm. quite as good a record as yesterday. No. But uh, it must be relieving to have your in game leader back. He's pretty happy that he's gonna be back here for the semi finals and hopefully the final. Yeah. Well it's very different to play with Kerrigan instead of Sonic because yesterday it was kind of loose. We didn't really, well, we had a lot of fun playing. I think it was like the most funniest game I've ever played. But um, but yeah, it's better to play with like structure. You know what to do and um, but you can't really blame the loss on Kerrigan or anything like that. Of course, like it's different opponent, different day. It could be anything why we lost and. It's not Kerrigan. It's it. It was because yeah, bad day and and they play good. Okay. I don't think anyone's going to actually blame no, Kerrigan no. for that. But uh, that does secure your uh, top spot in the group. Uh, the rest of the group's kind of shaky. I don't know who's going to be finishing fourth, third, no. or second. Uh, out of the teams remaining, I think SK might be clear with that tie against you. Are there any teams you'd rather face in the semi-final, or any teams you'd rather avoid? Um, no, really. Like probably SK because they just beat us, but. We, we have to beat all teams here. Um, if we want to go far in this tournament, we have to beat all, so it doesn't matter. And so coming into the group, uh, you were obviously favoured from the start pretty heavily. Were there any nerves coming in that maybe you would get like upset from SK or Energy or something like that? Or were you always kind of confident that you would be able to come out first in the group? Um, we were confident in this group at least. Um, but always like a bit uh, flashback for SK and um, for Frag Bite Masters and stuff like that. Maybe that was why we lost, like that we kind of fought back on, on what happened in the past. So we have to talk through what happened in the strain game um, because that's not how we should play and that's not how like SK shouldn't be able to take over a map in that uh, like we also lost pretty bad on that map so we have to talk through and, and see what we have to correct. Uh, mentioning SK quickly, they're known as a little, a little bit of an inconsistent team. Sometimes they have great performances, mm. sometimes not so good. They managed to uh, take you on one map today. Uh, why do you think they're such an inconsistent lineup and how do you think they're going to find some stability and put in the performances like we saw today, but on a more consistent basis? Um, I think they have like personalities and that, like, if they play good like it's going really good and if it goes bad like the first few rounds then it goes really like bad afterwards so I think they have to work on getting some stable mentality going and and great communication because it feels like when they get behind they like suffer really bad so like stability as you say and a mental game and and yeah Probably, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. I can't. I can't tell because I'm looking from the outside. And but that's what that's what I can see. Probably. Well, talking about consistency, and I, and I hate to bring it up, but uh, Astralis, not a great record in semi-finals and things like that going forward. Very close to reaching the top. Uh, what do you think is going to be the key for you guys? You've started shaking it off already. You've started doing better in those crucial mm -hmm. games. But what do you think is the next step for you to really push and try and take that claim for best team in the world? Um. Well, I, it's hard to say because we have tried so many different solutions um, and we are still trying, but um, it really comes down to not think about that it's a semi-final, play like it's a normal game and and just enjoy playing on the stage because sometimes the pressure gets to you. Um, I'm not saying it's the pressure, but we're also facing off against really great teams in the semi-finals and some of those 
semifinals uh, teams we have never beaten like Luminosity and stuff like that so it's hard to put a finger on what we have to do um, to get through to the semi or to the final um, so we're just gonna like do whatever we have talked about and and try and convince ourselves that we can make it to the final. Okay, well, finally, you've got the job done so far, at least at A League. Looking much further ahead, major coming up in a few weeks. What are you looking at for the major? You're going to try and gun for that first place. What are your thoughts going in? We're still quite far away, but you know, what are your preliminary thoughts on that tournament? Well, we're not playing with Kiabri because he can't attend because of the rules. Oh, yeah. So we're playing with a stand-in called Grave, and well. We are aiming for like going out of the groups because obviously we're not gonna practice that much and it's not our primary lineup. So we we're just aiming for going out of groups. So we have invite for next season or a next major, and yeah, just take it from there. Everything that goes beyond uh, getting top eight is crisp. Do you think that rule about Kirby not being able to play in the major is kind of detrimental to his progression as a player or do you think you can kind of get over it and just give it some time and it will work out in the end anyway? Well, we have to play a little bit with our stand-in, so there is a period of time where he's not going to play with our, our team, so I think it's a bit sad that he can't go to the major with us now that he is on our lineup. Um, maybe. They should restructure rules um, in the major system. Um, I'm not sure how that should work out because I know why they're doing this. Um, but yeah, it's it's probably going to affect him as a player, but not that much because it's just one tournament.